<laughs> so how long have I known you for? Jeez, I don't know. Days, weeks, years, months? I guess days could cover it, right? Like a lot of fucking days. Well, see, I was here a year and a half before you, and we have the same parents, so... Uh, your whole life. So you're my brother. I think the people that know us will know that, but we have different last names. That's the first thing people are going to see. Yep. Um, why do we have different last names? Well, man, you're going to jump right into the weird stuff, huh? Is it weird? You act to, like... I, to the public, maybe. To if, us? No, that's our what life. What if this is where the story took a turn and you're like, well, I married a girl and I thought I would take her last name. So I am the older brother of Will here. Uh, Will was adopted at some point in time, right? I guess. Right? Am, I lying? Story. Am I lying? I don't know. <laughs> no, just all right. um, we yeah we have different last names because I retained my original birth last name, and somewhere in history, Will's last name changed because he was adopted. Yes, and but so, we are biological. We're like mom and dad biological, yeah. not half. So um, yeah, for the people that don't know, that's pretty much the story. We grew up together for a large chunk of our lives. You were taken out of the home first because that's how weird the system is, right? Yep. Where they, for whatever reason, will take one kid or multiple kids, but not all of them. There's six kids in our biological family. Um, got all taken out at different times, but there was a time where you got taken out, and then it was me and some siblings, and then I got taken out. So for a period of time, we didn't live together, and then we kind of reunited at one point, which is cool. We mm -hmm. lived in the same foster home for like six months. Do you remember that? How long do you I think do we lived? That together because in my head it was six months was it longer no it seemed about that yeah do you ever think about like how weird it was that like we were together and then they're like nah let's just split these motherfuckers up it was it weird it, it sucked for us because at that point in our lives we wanted to we wanted to be together because we wanted something familiar because we were tossed into a system where uh not every day you know where you're going to be or who you're going to live with so we ended up together in the same home and then our foster parents had a difficult time in their relationship and that's what kind of tossed that one up and they had to split us back up again i feel like you we should talk that? about that yeah so because i think people think if i had to guess people think foster care they see movies a lot and they see like a really good home and like really troubled kids but what i don't think people know is yes we were for sure troubled kids we for sure came from a troubled home but not all the foster families are good foster parents. They're not. And that one specifically was a different kind of not good foster parent. Like they were. They were good. No, they were good parents. Like they they fed us like nutrition I don't, meals. I don't consider them good parents. No, but but, but as I get far as saying. human beings go, they, they had, were they had issues. They were better than the parents we came from. But to me, they weren't good. And I. I'll, I'll talk about this, right? So let me say this because I, I, I kind of want to take ownership of this. I think when I was in my bad home, I used to always like reminisce like, damn, one day because you would come visit. Wait, I what's think, your bad home? Our home, our, our biological home. Okay. The, the home with mom and Rick. The ring and bells. And I've talked about Rick on this podcast before. So it was just a very abusive bad home. And I remember you okay. would come visit. I think you lived in a, the FYI shelter at the time and you would come visit and you were like, it's awesome. Like we we get to play games and like we do all we we have you guys had a playstation which is like i think it was a playstation one at the time and you were like dude not we because that's old because <laughs> well, that's how old the story was but that was like or maybe it was the two either way you're like dude we we played need for speed we have all these games i listen to whatever music i want i get to wear all the things that i didn't have and then Wait, i remember does, so does everybody understand why i would even bring up stuff like that well, let me tell that story and then you can come back and fill in the blanks because I, I think the point I'm trying to say is I had this idea because of what you had said, regardless of why you said it, which you can say. I remember thinking like, damn, like one day I'm going to get out of here and I'm going to be in a home or a foster home and they're just going to take me wherever I want to go and they're going to buy me whatever I want and I'm going to get hot Cheetos with cheese and all these snacks and I'm going to do whatever I want and then like... And then I remember getting put into that foster home. Obviously, I went to the shelter first as well. And then I went to that foster home with you. And I remember thinking, like, damn, it's not that way at all. Like, they didn't, like, it was like, that was, they were like, dude, like, you got to. I remember, like, one of our uh, treats was they would buy us our Cool Whip can. And that was like a, <laughs> they're like, you were great. And you get your own fucking thing of Cool Whip. And I was like, what? Like, I want, like, the things that I want. Like, you know what I mean? But I remember it was kind of like, it was like, uh, uh, it was a, for sure a reward to get those. 